Welcome. Today we're going to learn how to create and use curved text using Canva. Let's get started. Let's jump over to Canva and click Create a Design. We'll start with a basic presentation. After it loads we can go over to the left column and click on Text. Then let's select Add a Heading. Next, let's replace the sample text with our own text. Then let's go up top and click on Effects. Next, heading over to the lower left, we'll want to click on the Curve button. You'll see our text immediately changes to a preset curve. But, if we jump down to the cursor on the sliding scale we can adjust it. We can make the curve tighter or open it up wider. Once we reach the zero point we can even go further and reverse the curve. Let me show you some things we can do with this curved text. First, we'll need to make a copy of our sample text. Copying and pasting ensures we'll have the same size text to work with. Then we can separate our two lines of text so we can work with them easier. Now, let's head over and pick an image to work with by clicking on Photos. We're working with curved text, so let's pick something round. Let's type globe into the search bar. Here's a great image of the earth we can use. Let's resize it so it fits our design better. Now that we have it positioned in the center, let's click on our upper text line. Then we can click on effects. Now, if we click on the curve button and the sliding scale, we can curve the text to wrap around our globe. Then we can reposition it. Now let's work on the lower text line. Click on the curve button again. Adjust the sliding scale. Now we can curve the lower text line around the globe too. A little repositioning. Perfect. Now let's bring that curved text to life by adding color. Then if we click on effects again we can add a background color to the text. Then by heading down to the roundness slide we can tune it up a bit. Then we can adjust the spread so it's not right on top of our globe. Then fine tune the spacing a bit. Next, you can change the color of the bottom text too if you want. Okay. So now it gets really interesting. Let's clear our screen. Let's pick one of these fancier texts available in the sidebar. Again, let's click on effects. And let's see how the curve function affects this text over text style. Wow! Double curve. Let's reposition this and work on it. We can see by clicking on them that these are two lines of text grouped together. We can click on one, hold the shift key, and click on the second one. Clicking on the ungroup button up top will allow us to separate them. That will allow us to adjust the curve of each one independently. And we can grab the rotation handle and adjust it how we want it. Once we've done that, we can go over and grab an image for our design. Then we can align everything. Now, if we group the two text lines and the image we can move it as one image. Okay, let's clear our screen and do something really cool. We'll select this neon text to work with. Notice it's three lines of text. Again, we're going to ungroup them so we can work with each one. Let's put them where we can work on them. And then back we go again to effects, then the curve button. We'll curve each one separately to get the effect we'll create next. By centering these three text lines we can now create a wave effect out of text. And we can dress it up by adding a background image. If we want we can even change the color of the text to make it show better on this background. Okay, so let's clear our screen for the last design example. 
We're going to add a long line of text because that's what it takes to curve text into a complete circle. See how we can completely curve it until it is a circle. After we resize it, we can align and center it on our design. Then we can do something really cool. Let's click on frames and add one to our design. After we align it inside our curved text, we can go grab an image to drop in it. You can click or drag the image onto the screen. After the image loads, you may have to resize it a little to be able to drop it in the frame. Now, that looks great. But if you're still not happy with it, there are infinite ways to tweak the design. Now, get on Canva and try curving text yourself. Practice. And have fun with your new skill.